The number one thing every fucking person in here should be worried about is regret. You want some real poison? You want some shit that really hurts? Wait till you get to 80 and you regret that you didn't fucking try. I know, you know why? Because you people should be spending more time with elderly that aren't their family. You speak to elderly that aren't your family, you see one theme, regret. They don't talk about what they did, they talk about what they didn't do. My question to you is, because I've been successful in my other businesses, I'm really scared that what if I don't be who I want to be when I'm trying to be because I've already, I've already did something good somewhere else, so now the pressure's on. What would you say to a new person that's starting into the industry, um, coming from a place I just been here a week, what do I need to do or, or I don't know. I don't even know what question to ask. Like, you asked a great question. Let me give you the first part of it. When you go do your thing, in this entertainment business and it doesn't work, you could always go back and do the shit you know how to do. I'm so confused by this. People are like, no shit. (laughs) I'm aware that you don't want it to not work. It just might. And as long as you have a relationship with winning and losing, you're good. This is about having a relationship with losing. The amount of insecurity that's out there is absurd. People are scared about losing. To who? Who the fuck are you scared of losing to? What's gonna happen? Your mom is gonna call you and be like, you're a fucking loser, I told you, you should have been a nurse? Who gives you, say fuck you, mom. (laughs) I'm on some serious shit right now, what, who? Who's gonna tell, whose loss is it besides yours? Because I'm promising you something right now, my dear, the number one thing every fucking person in here should be worried about is regret. You want some real poison? You want some shit that really hurts? Wait till you get to 80 and you regret that you didn't fucking try. I know, you know why? Because you people should be spending more time with elderly that aren't their family. You speak to elderly that aren't your family, you see one theme, regret. They don't talk about what they did, they talk about what they didn't do. So what? Go, go hard in Atlanta. ATL, everything's happening here. You go hard, you go at it real hard for a couple of years, three, four, five, whatever your patience is based on finances, what you want in your life. And if you decide to go back, at least when you're 92, you're sitting there and being like, man, I wish. You don't get I wish out of your mouth. 